friends, my name is Santi and today we're taking a look at Tiny Epic Galaxies, a tiny epic game in which you're trying to conquer the galaxy and be the player that has most points at the end of the game by conquering planets and expanding your empire. Let's take a look at it so you see how it works. tiny epic galaxies look like. In this game you're gonna try to be the player with the most points at the end of the game. How are you gonna do that? Well there's different ways of scoring points but the main one is by conquering this planet. How are you gonna do that? Well the game is basically a dice rolling game. So during your turn you're gonna roll the dice, you're able to re-roll them twice and then you're gonna activate those dice. At the beginning of the game you're also gonna receive some missions, two of them, and you're gonna choose one of those in order to keep it, so during the, your game you're going to be, be trying to fulfill this mission that will give you some points at the end of the game. So what do the dice allow you to do? Well, there's six different symbols in the dice, so in base, based on which one you rolled, you're going to activate it here and you're going to be able to do different actions. This one allows you to move one spaceship from your galaxy to a planet and from a, a planet to another planet. In a planet you can place your spaceship either directly in the planet, which will allow you to activate the skill of that planet, or you can place it in the orbit in order to try to conquer that planet. So let's say I activated this die with the launching spaceship uh, ability. Another thing we can do is uh, activate some spaceships we have in an orbit. So we can use the diplomacy symbol or we can use the economic symbol. As you can see, there's two different types of planets. We have the ones that are, are diplomatic and the one that are economic. So if, you're, if you spend one of these dice, you're able to move one space in the orbit, one of your spaceship uh, in, a, in an orbit of a diplomatic um, planet. But if you spend uh, an economic uh, dice, you're able to move one spaceship in one space in the orbit of an economic planet. So those are two different uh, things we can do with the dice. Another thing we can do is we can, oh, once you reach the, the final uh, place of the orbit of the planet, you have conquered that planet. So that planet now belongs to you and moves to your player's screen. Once you conquered a planet, a new planet comes into the game in order to be able to be conquered by players. So once you conquer that planet, you can use the ability of that planet by spending one uh, Empire Expansion uh, dice. So once you activate this symbol, you're able to either play the ability of the of one of the planets that you have conquered, or you're also able to expand your empire. What does that mean? Well, you can spend some of the resources. There's two resources in this game, energy and culture. And you are able to expand your your empire by spending some of those resources. So let's say I, spend, I use that action to expand my empire. I would spend two um, two energies in order to move my my... Uh, empire token and that will give me some things for example it will g give me one point it will allow me to roll five dice instead of four dice and, and in further expansions it will allow me to use more spaceships than I have so at the beginning of the game you're gonna start with two spaceships but uh, then you're gonna get up to three and the maximum is getting four energies so that's another thing you can do with the dice Another thing you can do is recollect uh, resources. So we can we can e uh, either gather energies or we can gather c cultures. So what are those used for? Well, the energies you will gather as much energy as spaceship you have in a in a planet or in your or or in your galaxy with a energy symbol. So let's say if I had my spaceship distributed like this and I spend an energy dice, I would be able to get one, two, three energy. So I would move my energy token up to three. The same goes with culture. If instead of an energy dice, I would have spent a, a culture dice, I would gather as much uh, culture as uh, spaceships I have in a planet or in an orbit of a planet with a culture symbol. So in this case, I would only win one culture. What is the culture and the energy used for? Energies allow you to, well, both of, of those resources are, are, can be used to expand your empire. But energies can be also used in order to re-roll a dice uh, that you don't want to use. For example, let's say that this was my, my final result in my third 
uh, dice rolling. So I, I don't want to gather culture because that wouldn't give me a lot of culture. So instead, I could spend one energy in order in order to re-roll that dice. Okay, I can spend as much energy as I want until I have none. And the culture is used for a very interesting thing about this game. During another player's turn, he will be activating this dice. And in, in any given moment when he has uh, activated those dice, you can decide to spend one culture in order to imitate uh, one of the effects of the dice that he has played. So let's say, for example, the blue player has a spaceship uh, here or, or here. And I have one spaceship here and he decides to activate a diploma diplomacy uh, dice. He moves one here and I say, okay, I want to spend one culture in order to imitate that. And I would move one spaceship here because I also ha uh, have a spaceship in a diplomatic planet orbit. So the game ends when one player has 21 points. When he has scored 21 points, he says it out loud. Hey, I've reached 21 points and all the other players will have an extra turn. Once that the, the game has ended, all the players reveal their secret mission and the player who has the most points at the end of the game is the winner. So let's go and take a look what I think about this game. Well, there's a lot of things that I like about Tiny Epic Galaxies, but the third thing I like the most about this game is the design of the planets. I think that each planet looks different. You have big planets, small planets, planets with rings, planets without rings. It's really cool. And I think that that's something I really like because when I saw the game, it doesn't look like a really overproduced game. It looks like a really simple game. And I wouldn't expect that of, of, of this kind of game because I would imagine like basically like different same planets with different colors maybe or different shapes or I don't know but I I think that these planets are really well produced and they are really well designed so that's something I really like about Tiny Epic Galaxies. The second thing I like about this game is the combination between luck and strategy because I think that at the end of the game it's just a dice rolling game so there's a lot of luck involved there but you also have this strategy thinking uh, aspect in this game because you have to choose what are you going to do which planets you're going to conquer maybe if instead of trying to conquer them you're going to use their abilities or if you want to expand your empire or which dice are you going to imitate in the other player's turn so that i think that even though there's a big uh luck factor there is a really a really big um strategy factor also there and you have to decide what you're going to do based with the things you with the, with the dice you obtain so i think that th there's a really good balance in this game between luck factor and thinking factor so that's something i really like and i enjoy a lot about this game but the thing i like the most about tiny epic galaxies is this imitation mechanic. I think that it's really fantastic that you can imitate what other players do during their turn because that forces you to to be paying attention to what the other players are doing and it forces the other players to pay attention when you're playing and it solves like this kind of problem that a lot of games have in which you do your turn and then you forget about the game for 20 minutes because the other players are playing and then you get your turn again. I think that this mechanic, it's a really great mechanic that solved that problem perfectly and I, I don't know why I haven't seen this, this thing introduced in other games and I think that it would be really good for some kind of games. So that's the thing I like the most about this game, the mechanic, uh, the imitation mechanic of Tiny Epic Galaxies. So let's go and take a look at my ratings. So for the theme, I'm going to give Tiny Epic Galaxies a 5. I'm going to give it a 5 because it's your typical conquering the galaxy theme. Uh, so I don't think it's really cool. It's just, okay, it's uh, an exploring the galaxy game. Fine. It has this uh, that each planet is different, as I commented before. I think it's something I, I really enjoy, but it doesn't make the theme be super wow and super fantastic. So that's it. It's just a normal, mediocre theme. A 5. For the mechanics, I'm going to give Tiny Epic Galaxies an 8.5 because, boy, this game is really cool for the kind of small game it is. It's a really short game, but it has a lot of things uh, in the game. You have different tactics you can use. You can use the skill of the planets. You can conquer those planets. You can conquer those planets in order to use those skills later. You can expand your empire. You can choose to imitate the other player's uh, action. or you can. I think it's a really cool game that has uh, little things that make it for being a small game, it makes them. It makes the game grow a lot, and I think that the um, 
the different options you have is really cool. I think it's a really neat design, really. It's a great mechanics for a small game and it makes it look a little bit more complex than you would expect from a small game, but it's not like really complex. So that I think the design is really, really great for the mechanics of the game. So that's the reason I gave it an 8.5. So let's go and take a look at the art and the components. So my final rating for the art and the components of Tiny Epic Galaxies is going to be a 6. It's going to be a 6 because there's two things with the Tiny Epic series. On one hand you have that it's epic, great, but on the other hand you have that it's tiny. And that is a little bit of a problem for the production in the art and component matter of the game. because. They, they offer you really a great experience and a great game for a really good price, but the components and the production are a little bit poor. Okay, I get that they want to do it simple and small and they want to uh, try to get the best of the, of the minimum, but that sometimes has a little bit of a drawback for me. So let's let's take a look at this. For example, you have the the player screen, and you have this really tiny spaces here, and in which you're supposed to be able to place a spaceship here, and it's like really small. If you would have a bigger screen, it would be better. But okay, I get that they want to do it that way, so I'm gonna give them a six. So the screens are really good. I think that they're really clear and they're mechanic. I would have, would have liked them to be a little bit bigger, but doesn't matter. Uh, I think they they they're really useful. They're cool. The cardboard is is really thin, but it's it's hard, so it's it's good. It's not paperish, so I like them. I think they're cool. They're different colors for you to play. It's okay. Then you have the the tokens and the pieces you're gonna use as as a player. You have these spaceships, which I find really cool. They have the in the form of a spaceship, which is really cool. I think it's good. Then you have the the tokens, the culture token, your your uh, empire token, and you have the energy token, which is basically a wooden cube with a with a print of an energy there. It's okay. It's just fine. It's 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 useful. It 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 serves its purpose. So it's not really wow, catchy and fascinating, but. It, it's it's useful. Then we have the dice here, which are really cool and they're they're really good. I like the the color of the of the dice. They're like made of space matter or something like that. And I like that they are custom dice. Each one is each side has a different symbol and each symbol is particular. So I like them. I think the dice in this game are really cool. Then we have the cards, which are the, we have two different kind of cards, the planet cards and the mission cards. The planet cards is one of my favorite things about this game. They're really cool. Each each planet looks different. The different uh, ring types of the planets, the different, I don't know, the textures of the planet. I think they're really cool. They, they're really well designed and they're really nice. So that's something I really like about the the design of the game. Then we have the mission cards, which are just meh. Okay, they're they have the name, they have what, what you're supposed to do, but they're really, meh, they're not really nice. So that's just fine, I guess. Then we have the rule book, which is it's really good, it's small, it's really well written, it's simple, it goes to what, it tells you what you have to do, it's just that, and it's really good. I think it's really well produced, and then it fits perfectly in the box, which is the last thing I want to talk about, because one thing about, a really great thing about this game is that Everything fits here, it's just like a hand sized box and it really fits perfectly. So that's something I really like about this game, that uh, space is really used in the box. I also like that they use the box to use it as um, as the place you're rolling the dice. So I think that is good, they're giving the, the box purpose. It's, it's a thick box, it's really thick cardboard box, and I like that everything fits here and there's no no space for anything else and it just fits perfectly and the, I like the size of the box and that's one thing that is good about Tiny Epic uh, series, that it's tiny and although that, that gives you a little bit of a thing in the component, for the box and for carrying this game that's really cool because you can take it almost anywhere in your pocket or in your backpack and it doesn't take a lot of space. So that's what I think about the art and the components. I think it's they're just fine. They're they they're useful as a game, but it's not really catchy and not really nice. So that's the reason I'm gonna give it a six. So let's go to my final rating. So my final rating for Tiny Epic Galaxies is gonna be a seven. It's gonna be a seven because it's a really cool game. I really enjoy playing it. It's really fun. It's really short. It's like it takes like 
half an hour, 40 minutes. It's a really cool game. I really like to play with people that aren't that introduced in the hobby because I think it's a it's a good uh, medium weight game and it's really catchy. I really like it a lot, so that's the reason I'm going to give it a 7. So I'm going to give Tiny Epic Galaxies a seal of approval. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.